Letošní druhý ročník. Nejvyšší od toho loňského v tom, že místo šesti týmů jsme pozvali osm týmů. O ten turnaj byl veliký zájem, museli jsme dokonce odmítat týmy dokonce z Kolumbie, z Ruska, z Itálie a tak dále. Bude se lišit také v tom, že všechny zápasy budou streamovány, nevidomí účastníci a taktéž nevidomí diváci budou mít možnost si započít sluchátka a poslouchat, co se děje na tom řešti prostřednictvím komentátorů. A podařilo se nám na tuto akci dostat dva rozhodčí, jednoho z Řecka a jednoho z Turecka, kteří získali mistrovství Evropy ve futsalu pro nevidomí. Proti Lensku máme tady dvě televize, kde běží prostě čas, skóre, jo, informace o zápase a máme tady dva komentátory, profíky z německé Bundesligy, který to prostě dělají, nevím jak dlouho, komentují ty zápasy a nevidomým hráčům, prostě, který zrovna nehrajou nebo který chtějí sledovat ten zápas, prostě mají takový headsety, poslouchají ten komentář, je to super. Well, um, it's the second time that we have this uh, tournament in Bukovice. And uh, it's due to Jitka, I think, uh, with all her organizational skills that she managed to, to pull off an even better tournament than last year. Uh, last year was already great. Uh, we had great participation. We had a fantastic, for my mind, uh, the best match I've seen ever be between Bahia and Stuttgart, with, which was a three-all, with, uh, with uh, top players. This year we have really great weather. Last year it was uh, rainy. Uh, there's a grandstand, the organization is even better than last year, so I can only uh, congratulate uh, the, the Czech uh, team and Jitka for her efforts. Peníze na akci tohoto typu v českých podmínkách, jo, to je o, o, opravdu oříšek. A my máme vlastně štěstí, že za sebou máme Masarykovou univerzitu, takže v podstatě o, úzce spolupracujeme s Masarykovou univerzitou, protože jsme v podstatě všichni její zaměstnanci, takže to je takový náš hlavní partner. A pak určitě bychom chtěli poděkovat nadačnímu fondu a vás. roli organizátora a brankáře zároveň. Ale to je strašně těžké. Jako já jsem si myslel, že včera ráno prostě přijdem, nachystáme techniku, já se jako slíknu, poblešu si dres a budu tady jako hráč a budu s našima hráčema a trošku jako je vyhecuju ne, a tohle. A měli jsme to trošku problémy s internetem a ještě vypadávala eterika, takže jsem do poslední chvíle před naším zápasem prostě byl ještě furt v roli organizátora a nebylo to dobrý. No, nebo na jednu stranu je, je to fajn, že se nestresuju tím zápasem, ale stresuju se něčím jiným a pak si prostě jaká převlíknu, běžím na hřiště a hraju. Jo. Takže na jednu stranu je to dobrý, ale pak jsem se letos těšil, že to tak nebude. A... I'm 
very uh, surprised about uh, the technological support of the tournament because it's uh, uh, similar to big uh, events like uh, Paralympic Games or the World Championships. It is first time that I can I saw a referee's report uh, with an internet application and not in uh, paper. That is very good. Uh, the media support is very good. We can see photographs and videos uh, at the end of the day. And uh, we will have a lot of memories uh, after that. I started kind of just getting involved in the Czech Republic um, by accident really. They came to me, uh, Yitka, Lukas Mazilko, Katka Gmentova, they came across to England just to find out about blind football and what it's all about, what their interests were, how they could develop their players and just give people an opportunity to play blind futsal and football. So they came originally to Worcester, that was great, had a superb time, built up lots of relationships with them and had fun, and then they invited me to come back to the Czech Republic, that was probably about seven, eight years ago, I think now, you lose track. And since then, our universities, like the University of Worcester in England and the University of Masaryk, have come together and joined together on an Erasmus agreement, They're where we can do mobility for teaching and student exchanges. I've come back probably 10 or 12 times over the last seven or eight years and have just a great time. They're beautiful people, they do the best for each other and they're always opening and welcoming and it's kind of my favourite adopted country, you know. The football has changed immensely. They, they started with very little, not even any footballs really, not really much of an idea but just a passion for people and that has carried them along to the tournament that you see today which is kind of one of the best tournaments in the world for blind futsal. Outside of the Paralympics, this is probably the you know, best opportunity to play blind football and futsal in the world. Okay, okay. It's okay, Canada. Lucas! I think the Buchowice tournament is one of the best, it is the best tournament we have ever played because it's perfect, it's a perfect organization. You feel happy, you choose what you want to eat. Uh, there's fruits in the in your in your dressing room. It's unbelievable. I've never ever uh, seen this, and it's unreachable. One, we can pick up a little from it, but we can't do it like you do it here or like in Puchovice. It is done because it's really really based on the heart, mixed with professional organization, and that's really amazing. The European Championships are usually a little bit more professional. Uh, for example, the, the teams have like little cards where they can write down the substitutions that the speaker knows which number in and out and uh, little numbers for the timeouts. They can uh, play a card for the timeouts and stuff like this. But like in the private tournaments, like the club tournaments, it's the very uh, top level in the organization. Absolutely. I was here last year, um, the whole, um, it, it's very impressive how they can bring all of these different uh, teams from the different countries together um, and it's such a good atmosphere, everybody's here to have an amazing time and enjoy the football, everyone is very relaxed and friendly and enjoying the whole, um, the whole competition, you know, um, so I think this is a, a brilliant thing, it would be great if uh, more countries were able to do things like this um, because you know um, with uh, I'm I used to play for England and uh, went to the Paralympics and played for GB but um, now that I'm playing in club uh, just for my club um, you know I don't get to 
play in international tournaments like this um, apart from here. So it would be great if they could do more things like this. It's, uh, it's a really good thing. Primeiramente, nós gostamos de desafio. E, e segundo, que é um título internacional e nós participamos de poucos torneios internacionais. Então, é uma oportunidade da gente provar que é uma boa equipe. Mas o que eu recomendo é somente trabalho, treinamento e com disciplina e seriedade. Let me thank to everybody who came here and had a beautiful, spent this beautiful tournament with us. Uh, like two years ago, when we decided to do this tournament in Buchovice, it was told to us, hey, don't do it in Buchovice, it's just a small town, nobody will come there, there's no airport, not many accommodation possibilities, stuff like that. What I learned is that it's not about the place, but it's always about people.